The Little Detective and the Mystery of the Vanished Toy Once upon a time, in the quaint little town of Storyville, there lived a clever and curious little girl named Lily. Everyone in Storyville knew her as the Little Detective because she had a talent for solving mysteries that would leave even the grown-ups amazed. One sunny afternoon, Lily was playing with her friends, Max the teddy bear, Rosie the doll, and Timmy the toy train. They were all having a delightful time, laughing and sharing stories, when suddenly, a strange thing happened. Max, Rosie, and Timmy's favorite toy, a magical spinning top, disappeared without a trace. Oh no, cried Max, his fluffy ears drooping with worry. Where could our beloved spinning top have gone? Rosie's porcelain face turned sad, and Timmy let out a little puff of steam, feeling puzzled and upset. Fearless and determined, Lily declared, Fear not, my friends. I shall unravel this mystery and find your cherished spinning top. And so, the little detective began her investigation. She first looked around the play area, searching every nook and cranny. Behind the bushes, under the slide, and even in the sand pit, but the spinning top was nowhere to be found. Lily put on her detective hat, a bright red cap with a magnifying glass, and examined the footprints around the area. Aha, she exclaimed. These footprints are tiny, like those of a mischievous little pixie. With this newfound clue, she followed the trail of footprints that led her deep into the enchanted forest. The trees in the forest were so tall that their branches seemed to touch the clouds, and the air was filled with the soft hum of magical creatures. As Lily ventured further, she came across a clearing where a group of friendly forest animals had gathered. There, in the center of the clearing, sat the mischievous little pixie named Twinkle. Twinkle was surrounded by colorful toys that he had collected from all around Storyville, including Max, Rosie, and Timmy's spinning top. His eyes sparkled with glee as he played with the toys, unaware that he had taken something that didn't belong to him. Excuse me, Twinkle, Lily said politely, stepping forward with a smile. I believe you have my friend's magical spinning top. Would you mind returning it to them? Twinkle looked startled, but then realized his mistake. Oh, I didn't mean to cause any harm. I just wanted to play with it, he admitted, feeling a little sheepish. That's all right, Lily reassured him. You can play with it, but you must always ask for permission first. With a nod, Twinkle handed the spinning top back to Max, Rosie, and Timmy. They were overjoyed to have their favorite toy back and they thanked Lily for solving the mystery. As the sun began to set, Lily bid farewell to the friendly forest animals and headed back to Storyville with her friends. They all agreed that it had been an adventurous day, and they were grateful for the exciting tale they could now share. From that day on, Twinkle and the other forest creatures became good friends with Lily and her toy companions. They often played together and shared many magical adventures. And so, the little detective's reputation for solving mysteries grew even stronger, and she continued to protect the joy and happiness of Storyville, one adventure at a time. The End